To read and write dates in Roman numerals, you do need to know how to read and write Roman numerals up to 1000. M is 1000. There were many reasons for celebration in the year 2000, not least of which it was easier to write dates in Roman numerals. The year 2000 simply became MM. And as that decade went on, it was just adding on the 1 and the 2, etc. 2010, simply 2000 add the 10. At the time of making this video, it's 2019. So it's 2000, add 10, add 9. Nice and easy. But how did we cope before the millennium? The easiest way to think about dates is to just think of them as numbers. Think of the year 1999 as the number 1999. If you use your partitioning, you have 1999. Now it's much easier to identify which Roman numeral goes with which digit of the number 1999. 1000 is M. 900, if 900 is 100 less than 1000, we put the 100 before the 1000. 90 is 10 less than 100, so we put 10 before the 100. And 9 is 1 less than 10, so we put the 1 in front of the 10. And now you have the year 1999 in Roman numerals. Here are some for you to try. Just remember to think of them as ordinary numbers rather than reading them out as dates. Partition each place value. That makes it much easier. Pause the video. Have a go. The first one, we say the number 1066. We have 1000. We don't have anything in the hundreds. But we have 60, which is 50 add 10, and then we have 6. And I chose that date because it's the Battle of Hastings. 1485 was the first Tudor monarch, Henry VII. This number is 1485. 1400, remember that's 100 less than 500, so that's CD. 80 is 30 more than 50 and then 5. The next one, 1605, is the gunpowder plot, the reason we celebrate by setting off fireworks every bonfire night. 1,605. 1,600 is 100 more than 500, DC. We don't have any 10s, so we just add on the 5. It's interesting to see here that even though 1,605 is a bigger number than 1,485, it uses fewer numerals. The next date, 1939, the beginning of World War II. 1,939. We have 1,900. Remember, that's 100 less than 1,000. So that's CM. 30 is 3 lots of 10. And 9 is 1 less than 10. The next date, 1997, that was the last time the UK won the Eurovision Song Contest, 1997. We have 1,900, then 90, which is 10 less than 100, and 7. Final one, 1888, was the longest date I could think of in Roman numerals. 1,888. 1,000 is M. 800, that's 500, add 300. 80, that's 50, add 30. And 8 is 5, add 3. This time we're going to do some the other way round. I'm going to give you some dates in Roman numerals and you're going to work out what the dates are. There's a couple of things it's important to remember when you're doing it this way round. We have a date here and you can see that the very first numeral is M, so that's 1000. The next numeral is D, which is 500, but notice that straight after that there's a C, which is another 100, so that's 600. Next we have 
L for 50, but notice there are two X's next to that. So that's two more tens. So that's 70. And finally, we have six. The date is 1676. This one's a little bit more tricky. Again, we have 1000. Next, we have 100. But look at the numeral after that. That's bigger than 100. That's 500. So that must mean that it's 100 less than 500. So CD is 400. Next, we have a 10. But again, notice that 10 is in front of an L. And that L is worth more. So that is 10 less than 50. So that's 40. We have an I followed by an X, which is 1 less than 10. So that's 9. 1449. Here are some dates in Roman numerals for you to have a go at. Just remember to check each numeral before you write it down. Just check what the one is next to it to see if you need to add something on or take that numeral away from the one after it. Pause the video, have a go. First one, we have 1000. Next, there's 100, but that's followed by a D, which is 500, so that's 400. Next, we have a 10, but that is followed by 100, so that's 90. Add 1. The date is 1491, the year Henry VIII was born. Next one, we have 1000. Then we have 500, but next to that is another 100, so we're adding that on. That's 600. Then we have a 10, but that comes before 50, so that's 40. And then we have a 1, but that comes before a 10, so that's 9. 1649, the year Charles I was executed. Third one, 1000. Then we have 500. Notice that's followed by two more hundreds, so that's 700. Then we have a 5 and two ones. We don't have anything that we would class as the tens column, but we do have seven. The year 1707, that's when we officially became the United Kingdom. Next one, 1000. We have a C in front of an M, so that's 900. Then we have a 10. We check the next one, that's a 5, so that must just be a 10. And then we have 8. 1918, that's the end of World War I. Next one, we have a 1,000. Again, we have a 100 in front of a 1,000, so that's 900. Then we have a 10 but it's in front of an L. It's in front of 50, so that's 40, and then 5. And that's the end of World War II, so that's 1945. Final number, 1000. Again, we have a C in front of an M, so that's 900. Then we have a 10, but it's in front of 100, so that's 90. And then we have a 1, but it's in front of a 10, so that's 9. And the year is 1999, the year we commonly think of as the end of the 20th century.